I think I'm going to have to do something that's probably going to make me regret my life choices. Oh my gosh, you guys. She's going to love this. It's so princessy. Come on then. Let's do it. Let's make a big mess. Pull out. Declutter. It's the only way to make myself do it, you know. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Hi guys, Ree here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another room makeover organization kind of vlog. If you saw some of my recent videos, like a big speed clean I did where I was sorting and kind of moving some furniture around in Bella's room and various vlogs where you've heard me chatting, then you'll know that I've wanted to do something with Bella's room for a little bit. Actually, there's little bits I want to do with each of the children's rooms, but today, we're focusing on Bella's, largely because her bed is not working for her now. She's just getting taller, she's getting older, she needs a big girl's bed. This is an Ikea bed which has served us fine, but she had when she was very small, but it just doesn't fit with this room. There's room to shove stuff underneath, but there's no room to like store stuff properly. And this room is not massive. So when we initially moved here, the bed was in one position. This room has changed around quite a few times. We've recently added this little bedside unit. So the room has been progressing, especially recently, and coming together nicely. Decluttered her dressing table. But now this next piece of the puzzle is definitely the bed. So I'm so excited to get that sorted for her. And interestingly enough, I've asked her, would she want to swap with Zara for a bit of a change? No. Neither girl wishes to swap rooms. In fact, none of the three children want to swap at all. They are absolutely adamant and happy in their own rooms. So the solution is to have a bit of a switch around. So we have got a new bed coming, which is really exciting. I've chosen an Ottoman bed. Well, actually, Bella and I have chosen it together. She had liked quite a lot of saying input into what she wanted. It's coming from a company called My Child's Room, which is a small independent company. They had loads of different options, and obviously the appealing bit for Bella was that it had a pink headboard. The appealing bit for me is it had an ottoman with storage underneath. You'll know, if you've, what, if you've been around here for a bit, then you'll know I've got an ottoman bed and the stuff that you can store under an ottoman bed. I would never purposely choose a bed without storage again because why have that dead space when you could utilize it for storage and then keep your surfaces clear and your wardrobes clear and things like that. So the bed's coming tomorrow, which is really exciting, but obviously right now we're gonna need to make some space and get rid of this bed because it's coming during the day and I'm not gonna be able to get this bed out around this corner and everything by myself. So I kind of want there to be space for it to just be plonked in place and then I can make it all nice. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's gonna arrive while she's in school. I haven't had a delivery time yet, but it's what I'm kind of like, you know, keep my fingers crossed. Um, it'd be lovely if I could have it all kind of nice and ready for her for when she gets back. Uh, so for now, I think what we're gonna do is empty this room so when my husband gets home he and I can get the bed frame out she's going to do camping tonight just on the mattress on the floor so that because there's just not going to be time in the morning um to get rid of this bed then there'll be minimal stuff for me to move in the morning for when the bed's delivered and we can make it all lovely and beautiful so without further ado let's get on with a bit of emptying of the room Bella's room, well, sort of an empty Bella's room with the bed. We've got a lot of stuff dumped in my room just until the bed can be removed and I can make her camping for the night. So I'm now kind of on stop until my husband gets home with all his tools and screwdrivers and stuff. And yes, I'm fully aware that I could go and find a screwdriver and take a bed apart myself and I could do that and I am capable of doing that but he literally walks around with tools attached to his trousers. So it would be a bit like him struggling to do something on the computer that I could do in two minutes. What's the point? I may as well just wait and make my life easier. So I'm gonna do that. It's not anti-feminist, it's just sensible. Just wanna show you these couple of bits that I have bought for her room. These were 
all from B&M actually, all of this. Um, this is a pack of two cushion covers, the other's gone on a cushion in Zara's room. We've just covered some other cushions that didn't match as well. This is a very lovely thick blanket, so gorgeous and matches really nicely. And then this is a faux fur rug, which I haven't even unwrapped yet. I'm assuming it's gonna be the right size. Oh well, we're just gonna keep fingers crossed that it is. Anyway, once the bed is in and I've made the bed, I can dress it with these little bits just to kind of pull the room together. I've also ordered some storage bags to go under the bed, under the ottoman, so I can organize under there too. to the last of Bella's room. I just put her mattress down, so she slept on that. But then also I put the, um, the mattress from the sofa bed downstairs. So she's been camping. Let's get all of this out of the way because the new bed is coming today. doing anything massive with Zara's bed today and I'm going to change her bed although we will have a little chat later on about what I'm thinking about doing in here and what Zara would like. I've just had a text, the room is empty and sounding quite echoey actually, um, and the bed is 25 minutes away. Eek. So, um, looking forward to getting it in, getting it all installed, and then when Bella gets home from school, hopefully we can do a nice big reveal. Eek. Quite excited. it's so princessy just look at how gorgeous this bed is this looks so comfortable and look at this look how easy this is to lift you just one-handed loads of storage space under there i've got those packing cube bag things they're not packing cubes you know storage bags we're going to use to that there's not stuff dumped directly in here it's all kind of organized it's going to be fab there you go, pulling that down with one hand, nice and easy. 
this headboard. She wanted this one because she thought it was princessy. Love it. And I just love the fact that the whole base of the bed is this same beautiful pinky velvet, the color that she chose. Wow, wow, wow. So okay, so the next job I'm gonna do, I think if I just get this bed made, the bedding is kept up there. I'm gonna pull that out, make the bed, because I've got at least two sets for each child, make the bed, mattress protector guys, mattress protector, make sure. In fact, I hope I've got a mattress protector that's deep enough for this. This is a beautiful deep mattress and her other mattress was not this deep. So might have to Amazon Prime one. Definitely the one I've got. I'd, I'd rather put something on for it not to cover properly and the, um, just for today. We do like a nice mattress protector to protect this beautiful new mattress. Now, all Bella's seen of it so far is the mattress. She was so chuffed to have flowers on it. The rest of it we managed to sneak upstairs without her seeing. She's in school now. So I cannot wait to get this room all sorted for a big reveal when she gets home. Time for the, the test. That's so comfy. He's gonna be so excited. I've put on the um, mattress protector in the sheet. Turns out the ones I had were deep enough. I wasn't quite sure, um, but they were fine. So I've got a plain pillowcase for the bottom one. Top tip guys, I always do this and I know I always say it. So sorry if I sound like a broken record. So if you store the bedding that goes with the pillowcase inside the pillowcase, you can always find everything you need and just grab it. This is especially handy if you've got multiple sets, if you've got a big airing cupboard and it just keeps it all neat and tidy. So now we, um, it is leading up to Christmas. So I'm putting on this Christmas bedding. It's like nutcrackers and things. I'm not sure if this one is in stock anymore, but I will link below the closest one I can find in the blog post below. Just always check, there's always a blog post to go with the videos with links to everything that I'm talking about. Okay, put you guys down here and let's make the bed. And then because I don't do ironing bedding, we're just gonna spray and smooth out the bedding with a bit of crease releaser. And it will look just as if I've ironed it, only I won't have had to iron it. room is coming together so nicely so I still need to do the fun bits the finishing touches the rug the throw and all that but first a few things we've got to do I need to open up these packing cubes and figure out exactly how many are going to fit under the bed so I know how many of these I can fill with stuff organized stuff to put away in order to then fill those and make the most of the space under the bed I think I'm going to have to do something that's probably going to make me regret my life choices and that is pull out all the boxes to see what is in them to see what needs to be sorted and have a bit of a declutter I want to just do the pretty frilly bits today honestly and I could just stick the unit back in throw the throw on and she'd be thrilled but really this room needs a good old sort. So if we at least make a start on sorting it, or do I pull everything out and just absolutely hammer it and go half a leather and sort it all? I don't know. Let's start with these and see how we go. Ooh, quite pleased with these actually. And I'm also thinking I've bought two packs of them, so I don't think we need all of them in front of this bed, but these would be so good for packing Christmas decorations away after Christmas, wouldn't they? Because you can see through them. And like packing away like all the Christmas jumpers and stuff. Oh, might have to pick some more of those up if I run out of them. But really liking those, they seem nice sturdy quality. We'll definitely link in the blog post to go with the video. Okay, the question is how many of these things can I fit in? I guess if I just lay them in like that. Do you know what? This is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I did measure it. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
we just slot them in like this oh do you know what we're gonna need the two packs aren't we and still have space left over look how much space is in here and they've come with these little sachet things i assume you put them in the bags to make the clothes smell nice nice well it looks like i can fit eight of these bags in plus have extra space and maybe actually some of the space would be quite good for things like board games that don't fit into her calyx boxes very easily i've got to say pleasantly surprised at how much space we've got in here it's nice and deep too come on then let's do it let's make a big mess pull out declutter it's the only way to make myself do it you know i know there are so many schools of thought that say just declutter a little bit at a time and there's space for that like you've seen me declutter like a drawer at a time i totally do that as well but you know when there's a lot to be done the only way to physically make myself do it is to make a huge mess and then there is no going back it's like the going on a bear hunt book isn't it you can't go over it you can't go under it oh no you've got to get on with all the decluttering now otherwise it won't all go away and you'll have to live in a mess forever you've got to go through it <laughs> all right time to make a mess we collide, we Faces filled with sadness When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh well, never mind. No going back now. Okay, this is why I've brought it out. I wanted to have a look at everything. I have realised that across one, two, three boxes, we have got off-season swimwear. This is not stuff we're using currently, and yet it's in the boxes that are in Bella's kind of in her way in her bedroom. So all of that is perfect for being stored either in just one box or under her bed. I mean, actually she probably would be able to access under her bed, but I was going to just put the stuff that she needs to access in the low down boxes and like the high up boxes, she'll have to kind of ask for help uh, to go under the bed. Although she's probably more than capable, I've got to say, having seen how easily the bed rises up. I don't know. Anyway, that was my thought that the under the bed would be uh, for storage for me to access rather than her. But, you know, we'll have a think about that. Anyway, let's start by emptying out some of this stuff, packing away things, you know, like with like, and then hopefully freeing up some of these Looks like it's been reverse burgled but a good number of these boxes are now empty and all of these bags are organized and ready to be put under the bed so let's get these out of the way and we can carry on <laughs> so six bags fit so nicely i could probably fit another one or two if i like bunch those up or we could use this for board games let's go back let's start again to a place a long time ago when i kissed your lips so i've done a fair amount of sorting but time is now a ticking i have to get this place kind of to a level for when the kids get home to show them it's not gonna be very nice big reveals if it's just like looking like a mess so i have still got 
these three boxes of let's call it junk so unsorted stuff but I feel like that stuff maybe I need to go through with Bella so perhaps we can do that on the weekend I have got five empty droner boxes so really chuffed about that Zara's room I still need to make her bed and put that back together for her so that her room looks nice when she comes home as well and I just want to get Bella's room with all the boxes put away and vacuum it, put the rug out, just finish like putting the throw pillows and stuff on the bed so it's all looking lovely. And okay, I've not managed to sort every single little bit, but progress over perfection, that's what we're going for here. I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now, need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. I make Zara's bed I'll just show you I've actually put the mattress that was on Bella's bed underneath this one and I figure until we swap Zara's bed for a new big girl bed then at least it's double the thickness and probably that little bit more comfortable running out of time before going to do the school run and doing the little room reveal but I've managed to get uh, the upstairs of the house back to some level so I'm going to show you round very quickly what I've done then I'm going to go get the kids from school and we'll do the big reveal and see what she thinks anyway let's start in Zara's room so literally all I've done in here is change the bedding now this bed is the same as Bella's old bed it served a purpose in that it was like very small and almost cot like we used to have bed guards on them and it was a really good step up from a cot but she needs a bigger bed and mainly because I mean I'm not even going to show you how embarrassing it is under there hang on so look I am look how much junk is under there there is just no sense in having somewhere to just post things but not really anywhere to store things so I need to organize a new bed for Zara now, Zara's second favorite color is pink, but her first favorite color is lilac, and she'd like her room to be pink and lilac. So she wants to keep the wallpaper, which is sparkly, same as Bella's. And she would love a lilac bed. Now, currently, my child's room, where we got Bella's bed, do not do lilac beds. But I wonder if we could persuade them to do one for Zara, guys. Could we persuade them? What do you think? Can we persuade them to do like a, a lilac bed for Zara? Would anyone else's kids be interested in a lilac bed? Comment below if you think a lilac bed would be popular. Is that like a colour that other kids would like? I think a lilac bed would be really, really popular. And if you're on Instagram, give them a little follow and, you know, drop them a message. Suggest a lilac bed so we can all do one for Zara and just let them know. I think perhaps if they feel like there's enough call for it, maybe they're looking to do it. Yet. Let's see if we can persuade them together. Anyway, let me finish telling you about Zara's room, then we'll go and 
look in Will's room because what I want to do in there is kind of major and then we'll go and look in Bella's room. So obviously all of this needs a massive sort out periodically. Don't have time for it today, but it's on my list. Other than changing the bed, which will literally go in the same place and I'll have a lot more storage under it, I don't want to change a great deal in here. Now, originally Zara had the biggest room because William and Bella didn't mind playing in Zara's room, but she was really little when we moved here. She was three and they didn't want her in their room touching the stuff and breaking the leg up. So I said, right, Zara, have the bigger room and you can all play in Zara's room. Now I've asked them recently, do they want to swap round? And they've said no. Oh, the only other thing I might do is once I've had a massive declutter and we've got some more storage under there, maybe get rid of these little tables and she can have a desk slash dressing table thing like Bella. That's the only other difference. Anyway, onto Will's room, then Bella's. So Will's room is the one I feel like we got kind of wrong with the placement of the built-in wardrobes. So none of the rooms had built-in wardrobes. This was built by my husband and it's great, but I feel like the placement's wrong because it kind of narrows out the room. So what I actually wish we'd done and we can try and do, but it means we'll have to have like new carpets and goodness knows what else. I think the bed needs to go along that back wall there, meaning that this wardrobe thingy will have to go. I don't really want a built-in wardrobe on an external wall because of damp issues. So ugh, not sure that would be a very good idea. My husband thinks we could punch through this wall and go over the top here to make some storage. I don't know how much we'd gain because you'd need to have quite a lot of height. So it would have to be, girl math, it'd have to be quite high storage and we'd have to get rid of the TV. So I don't know about that. Maybe if we move the wardrobe to where the desk is and then if Will has a super high bed with a desk underneath, all this would be floor space. So yeah, there'd be a wardrobe here, but there would be like a square of floor space. I wonder if that would be better. Now into Bella's room. <gasps> How thrilled is she gonna be, guys? She's gonna be so thrilled. And underneath is all nice and organized. I have done a bit of organizing here. So I've got, this is like a lot more organized. That is, believe it or not, more organized than it was. Um, that is some Lego. There's also more Lego under a bed. And also that is pretty organized. That's like all our drawing and stuff filed. Got a nice clear dressing table. We organized this recently, but ta-da! Got the kids from school. Now it's time for the big reveal. What's she gonna think of a new bed? <laughs> is it like a princess bed? Yeah. Do you want to try sitting on it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really high and lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's the best bed I've had in my life. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Are you thrilled, so sweetheart? Pretty. Did you choose the right one, do you think? Yeah. It's very princessy, it's like isn't diamonds. it? Diamonds. It is. <laughs> and I love how it's so high because like princesses have high beds. They do. Princesses do have high beds. <laughs> Pretty. Do you want to see how I've organised underneath? Okay. Okay. Ready? We love it. Oh, now I'm going to show you underneath. <laughs> oh my god. It's good, isn't it? So that's all your Lego. Well, that's not all your Lego. It's more Lego. And my doll house. Yes, your doll house that you made. You don't want me to throw out. I didn't know where to put. But also over here, Belle's look. I've organized your folders. And I've organized these. Are, this is more organized, it doesn't look it, but it is. Also, same here, a bit more organized. And ta-da! You organized my junk box. I did organize your junk box. <laughs> your shells are a bit clearer as and, well. And this, it was so messy and now it's tidy. Well, you might actually be able to use your things. Thank and, you. Bells. <laughs> right. Sarah will want to see this. She'll be so happy. She will. Should we get her up here and show yes. her? Yes. Come on then. I want it. You want it? <laughs> yeah, it's mine. You want it? It's yours? Yeah, it's mine. Really? <laughs> yeah, I want it. You want it? It is well, beautiful, Well, why didn't you it? come up? Can you even get up that high? <laughs> you made it. Oh, it is stunning, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But which colour would you like, Conan? Uh, Lilac. The problem is they don't make lilac ones. Mm. And your bed is definitely going to be comfier than it was this morning because it's got mm -hmm. two mattresses. But I definitely think you're going to need a bigger, like a really big girl's bed soon, aren't you? 
Yeah. yeah. And definitely have a bit more storage because what's under your bed at the moment? Junk. Junk. <laughs> well done for being so honest. I think it's safe to say you are genuinely thrilled, aren't you? Yeah. So thank you so much to My Child's Room. They've been fantastic. Got a lovely selection of beds. So please do take a look on their website. But the only thing they're saying is a lilac one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So... Um, if any of you could comment below so I can send them the yeah we'd love a lilac one um, especially if anyone other than Zara would like a lilac bed I'm sure there's lots of other people who would love yeah. lilac I actually loved lilac when I was a teenager it was my favourite colour then so please send them a message and say please make a lilac bed <laughs> so that we can order one for Zara because <laughs> that would be gorgeous wouldn't it yeah yes because um, Laura wants a lilac and pink room. She does want a lilac and pink because room. Because lilac's quite a hard colour to find. It is, actually. But, um, it's like, if like there are some lilac things and some pink, then it'll be easier. Yes, exactly. So, well, she's already got pink uh, wallpaper, much like this, actually. This is the sparkly stuff. We've got the same stuff in... Um, like a silvery colour downstairs. So if you were looking for any of the bits that I mentioned in this vlog, don't forget to check out the blog post. Thank you once again to My Child's Room and we shall see you in the next video or check out my Patreon, which is on screen if you want some early release behind the scenes from me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye! Bye.